Hello my people, God's people, people of the internet, people of the earth, wherever you are on this beautiful earth. Times are growing darker and I see the darkness all around me. I see it on the news and all over the world and wars are brewing. There's wars and rumors of wars. And I'm here to tell you to not be afraid of those wars and rumors of wars. There will be many wars and rumors of them in these last days as we're approaching the end of this age. There will be mighty wars and great wars and wars that will be all over the earth. And accompanying those will be great sorrow and famines and plagues and earthquakes in diverse places. These things must come to pass. And I'm here to tell you to not be afraid of those of these things. The Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us a spirit of hope and joy, a spirit of glory and not of fear. So don't be afraid of these things. These things must come to pass. I myself have been victim to these things years ago. A few years ago, I was fallen victim to these things. I, I, I thought that I could prepare myself for these things by stocking up on food and raiding the pantries of all the store shelves. Well, many people will do those things in those days when the wars transcend from rumors into reality. I don't think that the masses really understand what times they were living in, at least most people. And when shit hits the fan, well, those people are going to go right to the stores and to all the different shopping centers and malls and they're just going to raid everything and they're going to grab on to whatever they can to try and save themselves. Well, we were not given that spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ will protect us. He will provide for us in our time of need. Let's put our faith in him, not in the earthly com comforts of the world, such as food and water and things like this. He will provide all of those things in our time of need. So let's not be afraid, people. I myself have been victim to that same fear many times, so I know what it looks like. And I can see the events that are unfolding every day. The nations are going to war against each other, and two, two huge factions are going to form, and We've seen this all happen before. Satan is playing his games. He's dividing the races and the nations so that they can hate each other, so he can cause more havoc in these last days. I mean, we're not given that, that spirit of fear and hatred. Let's not hate our fellow brothers from different nations and different races. Let's not be a bad in, in influence on this world. Let's just go into the world and be at peace. Try and give comfort, help our neighbours and things like this. It will help our neighbours our neighbors, instead of condemning them, regardless of what their beliefs are, whether they're religious or atheists, it, it doesn't matter. Even if they hate us for it, we will go out of our way to help those in need in these dark times. And I know that all of you are already doing that, which is awesome. The Lord will provide me with people that need help. And if he wills it, then I will help them in any way that I can. I think that's a beautiful thing. So these days are getting tough economically and all these nations are starting to collapse and infrastructures are starting to collapse. The supply chains are starting to collapse. Social structures are starting to collapse. The very fabric of our civilizations are starting to unfold. And all of this is a part of God's plan. Satan is throwing a hissy fit. <laughs> he knows that his time is short. He knows that the end of this age is coming and he's doing everything in his power to make sure that that doesn't happen, that Jesus doesn't come back and destroy this earthly kingdom and bring about the heavenly kingdom. He's doing everything in his power and he will wreak so much havoc that has never been seen before. So just be at peace. Don't have a spirit of fear. We were given a spirit of joy and hope and comfort so that we can give that same spirit to people who are in need, people that are in poverty or they're impoverished in the spirit. We will help them and we will guide them towards Jesus 
who is the doctor that they need. They need the surgeon, the heart surgeon, to perform sur sur surgery on their hearts. For the hearts of many will grow cold in those days. And I'm seeing that as well. People are starting to hate one another so much more nowadays. People are so prone to anger. Everything turns into an argument. Whether your, whether your religions are different or politics, you see it in people. And that really sucks. <laughs> but these things have to come to pass. So my brethren, just know that Jesus will provide for you in those times. And don't be afraid when the wars start or if another pestilence comes upon you or a plague or some kind of virus, whether it's real or not, the effects are still the same. Wherever you are on earth, whatever nation that you hail from, it doesn't matter. The point still stands. We were given a spirit of hope, not of fear. And the Lord will provide for you in, the, in your time of need. So don't be afraid when the wars start, okay? I love you guys, and Jesus loves you way more than I do.